what is ICT for D? One answer is very simple. It stands for Information and Communication Technology for Development. OK, but what does that mean? To build a definition, I'm going to work through each of its component parts in turn, defining information, communication, technology and development, and then putting all of the parts together. The best way to understand information is through three related concepts. Data is raw, unprocessed information. Information is data that has been processed to make it useful to its recipient, so that's what comes next. And knowledge is information that's been assimilated into a coherent framework of understanding, usually understood as being the human mind. Here's a more detailed model of that pyramid showing how data gets processed into information and then assimilated into knowledge. You'll see a lot of arrows and each of those arrows represents a movement of data. This is communication and we can therefore define communication as the transmission of data. Okay, what about technology? It's non-human, it applies knowledge, it does something. So we can define it as devices or techniques that apply knowledge in order to complete a particular task. Okay, so we've now got enough to plug together a definition of ICT as devices, digital devices indeed, or techniques that apply knowledge in order to process or communicate data, so covering smartphones, and laptops, computer software, apps, the internet, and so on. One last letter remaining, D for development. There are whole courses given over to defining development, but we'll keep it short here and define development as particular progressive changes in a developing country. Well, what progressive changes are those? The international development agenda, as currently exemplified by the SDGs, that is the Sustainable Development Goals. What is a developing country? Well, I'm going to leave you to choose. Does it mean the low and middle income countries of the global south? Or does it mean everywhere? Because, of course, every country is developing in some ways and no country has finished developing. So we finally got there. Put all the parts together and we can define ICT for D as the application of any entity that processes or communicates digital data in order to deliver some part of the international development agenda in a developing country. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ICT for D textbook. And thanks for watching.